In the 70s and 80s, about half the Fortune 500 used the BCG growth share matrix to decide where to invest. The matrix was based on two principles. High relative market share businesses or products typically yielded superior returns, and high growth rates indicated markets where leadership should be built. Plotting growth rates against market share relative to competitors yielded the four quadrants of the growth share matrix. Cash cows with high share but low growth, which were milked to reinvest in high share, high growth stars. Question marks with high growth rates but low share, invested in based on star potential. And low growth, low share dogs to liquidate. Today, market share is no longer as direct a predictor of performance and adaptability to change and new technologies drive competitive advantage. Most companies move through the matrix much faster, spending half the time they used to in each quadrant. So the significance of the matrix has evolved as companies try to balance their portfolios faster and under greater uncertainty. Companies must do so with four imperatives in mind. Accelerate, evaluate the portfolio more often, Balance exploration and exploitation. Increase the number of question mark opportunities and extract value from dogs more rapidly before divesting. Select rigorously. Leverage all available data when scaling up or divesting. Measure and manage experimentation, speed, cost, risk, and return. What Bruce Henderson wrote years ago still holds. Every company needs products in which to invest cash. Every company needs products that generate cash. And every product should eventually be a cash generator, otherwise it is worthless. Only a diversified company with a balanced portfolio can use its strengths to truly capitalize on its growth opportunities.